Now, no. after getting an MRI, and this I find fascinating, you have to explain it to me, uh, your doctor might also use a grading system, by the way, mm -hmm. to, um, to kind of determine how much the vertebra or vertebrae have slipped. Yeah. So tell me about this grading system here and how this works. So this is the predecessor of that new classification system. And, and you see it's real simple. It just breaks down the shift as uh, based on the percentage of how much the top vertebra has shifted based on the lower vertebra. So how do you determine then the spacing? Is it just by the amount? That's Let's it. use the overbite again, right? That's exactly right. So uh, if you just have a slight overbite where it's only 25% of the length of the jaw, Got it. right? then it's called grade one. And if it's two, grade two, et cetera. And obviously the higher the number, the worse it is? Theoretically, but the truth is that this is like the electrical box. If there's a problem in the electrical box, the light will flicker. And it doesn't matter whether the electrical box blew up or you just cut the wires. In other words, patients will complain if you irritate the nerves. And that can be from a grade one or a grade four. Okay, now does this grading system, or this grading scale, I should say, help determine then the treatment you're going to give without surgery? Um, it used to, somewhat. But now, this new techniques where we can really l restore the height and bring the spine back to where it belongs, these techniques are essentially now used for all four types. Okay.